Hey y'all, this is Solo with the Nintendo Dads Network. Uh, I'm going to look do a look at uh, Ziggy. So we'll get into it. Uh, it's a little platformer. Uh, not sure if there, how much of a story is to it. I think this may just be just a straight up platformer with challenges. Um, it's got like a little death count to it. Uh, I played it some earlier. Um, was actually doing recording and uh, I don't know, OBS kind of like gave me a bunch of error codes. So it was kind of like crash recording. So we'll uh, get into the play of it. Uh, just crashed with me just playing into the first level. So we'll go through some of the tutorial again here. Keep an eye on OBS, make sure it doesn't crash on me again. Uh, press B to jump. B, double jump. It's got some familiar platformer techniques that you may have seen from other games as far as jumping off the wall and double jumping. So a lot of this stuff is kind of nice. It gives you some of these uh, skills up front. Level two here. The dash is kind of uh, fast. You can see in the upper left hand corner, I've already died 56 times on some spikes on different levels. So um, you need to rest after dash though, so you can't like just keep super dashing to everything. I do dig how the save cabinets, uh, the save stations are arcade cabinets. That's a pretty sweet little retro thing going on there. Pop that. This is where I kind of kept dying. But I actually did pretty good on that one. That was actually like, I uh, kind of got like, I think around eight, nine deaths on that one. kind of see the death start to happen. When you touch the wall, it's not like you need to wait to slide. By the time you touch the wall, you can just pretty much go ahead and just start like doing your jump and start making it. Oh yeah. Sucks when you've got a good flow going to it as far as some of these stages where you really just got to keep moving and um, you get kind of deep into it and you make that one little error that kind of costs you. Oh, what I do? oh that spike right there on the end. I was wondering what got me. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, at least I got the state right there, so that way I'm not starting all the way at the very bottom. There we go. Alright. Level 4, the boulders. You can see it's very uh, unforgiving if you even like so much it just like barely touch the spikes. That's that. It's not like you actually have to like hit the spiky portion of it. I mean, it's usually so much as uh, bump into it. That's uh, that is the end of view, as you saw right there. And then I'm not concerned about my death count, so I'm being very sloppy here. Oh, I'm out of sync. A lot of platformers, it's some uh, timing involved and stuff. <sighs> I need to get some speed. It takes, I feel like it takes them a minute to slow down. In case you're wondering, I did try and dash that one little gap right there, and uh, I could go off. Well. I don't know because it's raining in this stage, but he does seem like it to me. Maybe you can kind of see his home. Uh, watching it, that um, it seems like he is sliding on the turf. I'm having to navigate. There we 
Okay. I'm actually making better timing this time than I did my first time. But that's because of me with the stages, obviously. So I double jumped into that one. That was a trick there. And this is the stage where I kind of noticed that uh, it had stopped recording for me. So I might get a lot more sloppy now. Yeah, I know, I just literally stood there and watched that come at me. I'm trying to get like, see if maybe like one is in motion and the other one can't fire. I'm trying to get that top one to fire. Ah, uh, come on, double jump. I knew that was going to happen because I jumped right into it. quiet for a minute and watch this. Let's see where I need to be. There we go. Glad I got the save. Then I'm going to go through that again. And jump. Dash. into the arrow. Alright. That's the easy part I think. This will be kind of the more the harder part. Yep. Cracktacular jump. Does it? Does it? Dash there, I'll hit that and drop down. So. Cool. Kneel down? No, okay. There we go. On this stage, seems to be spikes everywhere, arrows everywhere, boulders everywhere. I need to jump him. Can't wait for the spike to disappear. I thought it was going. You should wonder why I did that. Spikes. I don't have all day. Get me going. Get me going. Boulder clear. 
navigated teeth out of the way. Save. Frustrated easy, this is probably definitely not a game for you. Uh, if you're gonna hand it over to a kid and they don't have a lot of patience, probably not a good game for them to play. But this is a lot of just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I mean, unless you're one of those people kind of really knock this out, uh, and, uh, nobody's business. Definitely want to play this with a fresh mind, um, rested, rather mind, and tired. Being, uh, I can see this game is really being frustrating. Um, so far, I will say, uh, without a story, um, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna say it. every game I play, I thoroughly enjoy. Um, I typically like platformers. Um, without a story, this game, I should hit that. Um, does feel kind of repetitive. Um, yeah, the stages are different, but it's the, uh, as you can see, it's, I'm on level 7 and it's kind of the same thing. Um, avoid boulder, avoid spikes. Uh, so, not sure about uh, me personally, being even though I like platformers, how much I would want to. Uh, pick up this game on a routine basis and be like, oh yeah, let me try and play that. I knew he was going to come right down on me. I just felt it in my bones. So going downhill is easier than uphill. Let's find out. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I was looking the strategy to go downhill. Wee! I was just <laughs> felt the breeze on that spike. Oh, here, here we go. Some ice, and now I'm probably gonna be slipping everywhere. Not proper. Um. Oh, it's the lag guy doing the ball. I'm okay. Wow. It's like uh. He's in it right there. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this one. I wish I could have pulled that off. No. I make that with just a double jump alone. Sometimes it's hard to kind of figure out in this game if you can make the double jump alone. But... Wait. Double jump. I'm gonna dash right into that. Uh. See that just kind of muscle memory there, me just run off the edge whenever I come back from a stage. And this, folks, is probably why I don't stream. Uh, I probably suppose well, if people are in chat watching me play, I would feel bad. I feel like I need to like really up it my game here. 
That way people in chat would not be like bored. You see in my desk and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> I've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All that fancy footwork and then the thing that comes at me. <laughs> it's a stalactite. I swear. Alright, well. I've probably given you a good idea of kind of what this game is. Um, I will back out. You can kind of see back uh, to the menu. Oh, no, 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 don't let me play. Okay, let me go back out. So you can kind of see. Um, I mean, it starts you back out at like level one. So I'll take the time I have left here to kind of like, I mean, there's not a lot of narrative to this game. It's just kind of platform jumping. So not much I can say on far as like story content for you. I mean, you just kind of been watching. It's kind of like jumping through things. Those like maybe the stages change uh, as you saw going to ice there. But uh, level selection, I go into that. I mean, I'm a lot, I'm now on eight. So you can see um, not a lot of levels to it. So, uh, you know, weigh your pros and cons as far as like, if you want like a light platformer and not a lot of story content, then there you go. Um, you get frustrated easily and you need something to kind of keep you in engaged other than just like constantly just jumping to just try and like see how good you are and keep your death count down. Um, it might be a, a game for you if you're into trying to just, you know, speed run stuff, but I'm not a speedrunner, so um, I give this game probably like a for me personally like a C. Uh, I'd probably be like the game I would play, and I'll probably only play it like once. But you know, it's kudos to the people that made it. Um, it's not a game for me, so I mean, if you play it and you enjoy it, uh, by all means, have fun with it and uh, get your money's worth out of it and enjoy it, and uh, you know, get that muscle memory down. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, Thank you for giving me the time to watch this video. And uh, until next time, this is a solo with the Nintendo Dads Network. And uh, please go check out all our family and podcasts and uh, great shows out there with uh, great guys. Thank you.